on Gaza remains one of the most shocking events this generation has watched. What makes it even more shocking is the unrelenting support by the Western governments, as if killing 11,000 people, including 5,000 children and 3,000 women, is something that can be ignored or swept aside. Over 20,000 tons of bombs have been used. The same firepower as that was used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. We express our solidarity with Palestinian healthcare workers and the Palestinian people in their pursuit of self-determination, freedom, safety and joy. We denounce Israel's current and past targeting of healthcare infrastructure, <laughs> including primary care facilities, hospitals and ambulances. In addition to the direct murderous impact of these attacks, they multiply the maiming, mass disablement and production of chronic illness produced by Israel's military occupation. They also make life-saving care unavailable in the future through destruction of Palestinian healthcare infrastructure. I'm going to read out um, a consultant cardiologist's um, statement. His name is Osama Samara. He's a Palestinian doctor working in the UK. Um, he would love to have been here, but he's on call this evening. I find no words to express my feelings of my people being systematically killed. To observe the biggest genocide in modern history being committed against my nation. To hear the cries of thousands of innocent people as they're buried alive under the rubble. To see two million civilians slowly dying from the lack of clean water, food or other necessities. To see the devastation in the eyes of medics in Gaza as they watch their patient, so many being young children, dying in front of their eyes. To see them performing life-saving surgeries on children without anesthesia, amputating their limbs in front of their families on the dirt, hosp dirty hospital floor, using vinegar as disinfectant and the light from their phones when the electricity is cut off. In 1948, my mom was a young girl at the time of Nagaba, which is the Arabic name for catastrophe. We were never against Jews, and we will never be. However, we are against Zionism that created a state over stolen land and over the dead bodies of the owners. Not far from our village, there was a Jewish community. We treated with them, sometimes we visited them, and sometimes they visited us. We all lived in harmony, and Palestine was a safe haven for everyone. Sadly, all of this changed, changed after the occupation in 1948. Mm -hmm. But she remembers very well every village they had to escape to along with her parents, walking for hours and hours with no food, no water, bare food until they arrived Gaza. Even before the current massive non-stop bombing started, Gaza was considered a place not, not suitable for human habitation due to the severe restrictions and strangulating siege. Many international organizations have declared several times in the last few years that war crimes have been committed repeatedly, not forgetting apartheid, continuation of illegal settlements, and the desecration of holy sites. 18 months ago, Save the Children charity published a damning report which showed that 70% of the children of Gaza had problems with stress, anxiety, insecurity, sleep disturbance, and poor performance at school. 
Their families suffer unemployment of up to 60% and poverty with dependency on aid for up to 70% of the population. This is amongst a population that itself has 70% refugees who were terrorised into leaving their homes 75 years ago. The current onslaught is turning very difficult living conditions into impossible living conditions. The British government has been complicit in the murder of these people. The British government has been complicit in the murder of these children through its unconditional support to Israel and its wars on Palestinians. Sunak, Sunak, you can't hide! You're enabling genocide! Sunak, Sunak, you can't hide! You're enabling genocide! Stop. We are outraged and heartbroken that at least 183 health workers have been killed in Gaza in the last month. This is the number last reported by Healthcare Workers Watch Palestine on the 4th of November. That includes 64 nurses, 26 physicians, 16 dentists, 11 medical and dental students, 3 medical scientists, 20 paramedics, 1 optometrist, 13 lab technicians, 7 physiotherapists, and 22 pharmacists. Few of the people of Gaza are able to mourn their loved ones right now. People continue to remain lost and unidentified amongst destroyed buildings. Burials, funerals, and prayers cannot go ahead, and families are torn apart. So tonight, as much as possible, we want to hold space for the grief and mourning that has been robbed of so many Palestinian people around the world. And we'd like to start by sharing the names of the health workers that we know have been killed in the last month. We acknowledge that this list is far from comprehensive and offer it as a starting point. Omar Farwana. Omar Farwana. Aya Farwana. Aya Saidam. Mohammed Dabur. Tamar Al Khayyab. Mahmoud Al Khayyab. Razan Al Rukhawi. Sirin Al Attar. Saeed Rabia. Saeed Rabia. Mohammed Al Samarai.